Hello. Good morning, everyone. Can listen me or not? Can see me or not? Okay. Anybody here? Can you give me the response that you can see me and also you can listen me? Okay. Morning, Nurin. Okay, Ahmad. Morning, ah. Yes, sir. Ah. Okay, if you can see me, so I will start my lesson again. So I will ask the question, have I called you to write the report experiment for the boys' law? Okay, can you answer me? You got to write the report for the boys' law or not? For the last lesson, the boys' law. Okay, if you got to write the report, you just uh, give me the response, got to write report. Okay. Okay, report for the boys' law. Yeah. Okay. So today I will continue to the another law. Eh? Okay. Still conclusion. Okay. Good. So that means we finish the boys' law, and also you write the report already. So today we need to go is a, uh, Charles' law. Okay. Charles' law. Okay. So from here today lesson we still continue four point four. Eh? Guess law. So this one guess law today I'm going to introduce that is a. Child's law. So another name, uh, just now it's a boy's law. Now it's a, another child's law. Okay, remember guess law is related with the three physical quantities. There's a uh, first one you're talking about the volume. Number two, you're talking about the temperature. Number three, about the pressure. Is it for the boy's law? Uh constant should be the temperature. After that, we make a relationship between the uh volume and also pressure. That one is a uh, boy's law so today we need to introduce another one we're still using the three physical quantities but now we need to keep one physical quantity constant then we take another two become relationship okay let's see the child's law they're talking about what okay child's law is a relationship between the volume okay they're talking about the volume and also temperature so that means this one, Charles Law, must be related with the heating. They want to heat the gas. Okay? So after heat the gas, we see what happened for the volume. So if I say volume and temperature become relationship, so which one should be constant? The pressure must be constant. Okay? Let's see the diagram here. Okay, we got two of the bottle. Okay? So, first one, they say the empty plastic bottle. Empty, that means inside got gas. Lah. They're before cool. Okay, before they want to cool. This one is a hot water. Okay, when I just bring it, go to cool down. Okay, I put all the ice. After that, the bottle, they put in the ice. So, you can find it. The shape of the bottle changes. Okay, the shape of the bottle changes. After that, you can see when the shape changes become big or small, they become smaller. Okay, they become smaller means this one situation, the volume, the volume of the empty plastic bottle changes. So that means the situation is when the ice means the temperature drop. Temperature drop, the volume changes become smaller. Okay, so the hot water means the temperature is high. You can see the volume compared to volume at the hot water, the volume of the empty plastic bottle is bigger a bit. Okay, so that means now you got a little bit relationship. Temperature high, volume will become bigger. Temperature smaller, that means the volume of the bigger will become smaller. Okay, now we go to proof. Eh? Okay, what happened to the volume of the A in the bottle? So they ask you when they just cool down what the volume of the A in the bottle. Okay, now we're going to see one of the experiments that's from your textbook. That's a 4.5. Okay, let's see the experiment. You need to know which one should be the manipulate variable, which one should be the responding. So this one, inference. Inference is the temperature of the gas uh, influence the volume of the gas. So that means we control is a temperature. Okay, we do know the volume of the gas, how they go to improve, is it? So we just control the temperature. So the volume gas sure is a responding variable. So the hypothesis. So this one is up. the higher the temperature, the larger the volume of the gas. Okay, so we need to prove this one hypothesis is it correct or not. 
So the aim, we want to find the relationship between the temperature and also the volume of the uh, gas. So you must mention fixed mass of the gas. So constant variable actually got two. La. You can mention about the mass. Mass of the gas always fixed. Okay. So another one should be constant pressure. Okay. Constant pressure. So from here, manipulate variable, we just control is a temperature. You're using the thermometer go to control. La. So this one thermometer must be one of the apparatus. Okay, responding variable is a volume. Volume you measure by using the meter rule. La. So meter rule mass is a, another apparatus. Okay, they represent by the length of the coulomb L in the capillary tube. So this one later I show you the diagram. Constant variable you can say about the mass. You can say about the pressure. Okay, apparatus. We're using capillary tube containing the air trap by the coulomb of the concentrate sulfurate. Okay, after that, we got 500 ml beaker thermometer. Uh, thermometer must have a ruler because you want to measure the length. Okay, after that, you want to heat. Heat must together three things. Bunsen burner, tripod stand, wire gauge. This one is a three together. Then add one more, stirrer because you want to stir. You want to stir means you want to make sure whole beaker the water, the water heat must be evenly when you just heat, so you go to stir. After that, we got retort stand. So we're using water, ice, and also the rubber band. Okay, let's see the diagram. So this one is a diagram. Huh? So this one is a beaker. Inside the beaker, they got water. They put the ice. Okay, they put the ice. Actually, they want to reduce the temperature. Lah. So that means we can start from the lower temperature. If you never put the ice, that means you need to start over 30. Okay, so this one is one of the reasons they put the ice. Okay, after that, you can see the three things together. Uh, when you just heat, wire gauge, tripod stand, and Bunsen burner. This one is together when you want to heat. Okay, then the rest at the side is a rubber band. Okay, rubber band, you want to tie it together. Okay, Cillian got a question. Uh, why must use a concentrated sulfurate? Okay, you can see the concentrated sulfurate here. Okay, this one concentrated sulfurate acid, that means they want to trap the A. Okay, they want to see L. Below the concentrated sulfuric acid, all is an air trap. So that means the air trap is below the concentrate sulfuric acid. Actually, we can use mercury. Okay, but the mercury expands very fast. So we cannot use mercury. Okay, mercury, you see the thermometer. When it heat, they're very fast to up, is it? So we're using the concentrated sulfuric acid to block at the meter. When you block out the meter, that means you can see bottom the A. Okay, is how many lag? Okay, actually you can using mercury. The problem is mercury is up very fast. Okay, they up very fast, just like the thermometer. So when they up very fast, that means we cannot so uh, concentrated to see the gas. The air trap is how fast. So from here, when you just heat, actually this one, the concentrate sulfuric acid, they will up, slowly up. La. Okay, when it just up, that means we need to find it's a lag. Okay, the length of the trap A under the sulfuric acid. So we label L. So some students will ask, if I never label, can or cannot? Okay, actually, they never catch you. You want label or do want the label is okay. Okay, I label because when I just go to procedure, I easy to explain. Okay, I no need to mention oh, the length is between bottom of the capillary tube and also the sulfuric acid. That means I no need to mention. I label L, I straightforward to mention. I measure the length of L. I then understood. Okay, so this one labeling is very important. When you just label in the diagram, that means later procedure, they can help you to more understanding to explain. Okay, so this one is a length, eh? Okay, but normally from here, we're talking about volume, yes or no? Length and volume, how come become relationship? Okay, you make sure to see uh, this part, capillary tube. Capillary tube, the area always the same, yes or no? So that means we're using the L to represent the volume because volume is a length multiply the area. So the area, we just assume that's always the same because you go up and go down, the area should be the same, eh? So from here, we just assume the volume now is a length, okay? We take the length is to represent the volume.
Okay, so from here, we just start the uh, heating. Lah. Okay, we need to start heating until certain temperature, then you can start. Okay, you can drop down the readings. Okay, let's see the procedure. So from here, the procedure, you can see from here, heat the water slowly. Okay, and stir it continuously because you want to make the heat uh, in the water is evenly, so you need to stir. So until temperature of the water reach 30. Okay, when they reach 30, then you start. Lah. So you take the reading. Okay, when it's 30, you take the reading of the A, there's an L. Ah. Can you see the label L? So from the procedure, I don't need to explain already. I just mentioned L. Okay, in the capillary tube. So you record the reading in the table form. Okay, then you repeat. Repeat step two and step three. Now you increase the temperature. Just now it's 30. So you make it to increase. You wait until 40. Then you drop down again what's the L. Continue until 80 degrees Celsius. Okay. So from here you can see one of the experiment here example. So when 10, uh, when temperature is 20, so they drop down the volume. Volume they take the what is a L lah. L is a 10 uh, meter. 10, uh, sorry, 10 meter, 10 cm, or you can 10 mm cube. So actually from here, you can mention about the volume. When you mention the volume, that means you need to multiply the area. Uh, then we call the formula is correct. If you never multiply the area, you cannot simply go and say, oh, this one is a volume. Okay? We just say there's an L only, there's a length. So length is a 10 cm, 10.3 cm, 10.7 cm, like this only. Okay, so from here, this one is an example to let you to see when the temperature just increased, can you see the volume trap? Okay, the volume trap that keep increasing. Then you can all focus the piston. The piston now, they keep up. They keep up. When they keep up, means the volume increase. Agree. Okay, so this one is a one of the sample of the experiment they go to do. They will keep heating. You see the air molecule inside must be expanded the kinetic energy must be increased. When it just increase, they should collide. Okay, they will hit the, each other. Okay, before that, I explain for you for the Boyce law. When it just hit to the container, remember? The molecule, when it hit to the container area, they got pressure. Is it? They got pressure. Okay, for this one situation, you will ask, why the pressure constant? Why the pressure can constant? Because they got heat container, ma. Okay, the problem is you can see the volume keep increasing or not. Okay, if the volume they never keep increasing, there's just constant uh, pressure will increase one because the collision always hitting to the container. Is it? If the volume keep increasing, that means you hit container, the frequency become normal already. Okay, because the spaces become more. Okay, although kinetic energy is bigger, but you hit to each other, you also got bigger space. So when the bigger space let you to collide to each other and also the container, so that means your pressure go back to the uh, constant variable. Okay? So remember, uh, if volume constant, pressure sure high. Okay? When you just hit because you know space to go. So now the volume, I let you to expand. You can see the piston, they keep up and keep upper, is it? So that means the volume now is a bigger space for you to move. The molecule, they're easy to move already. So when the molecule, they're easy to move, that means they're not frequently to collide to each other and also wall container. So like this, the pressure can go back to the constant. Okay? So this one is a one of the different Boyce Law and Charles Law. Boyce Law never touch about the heat. Charles Law, they need to heat. Okay, so we continue to analyzing. So just now the experiment you need to copy. Okay, you need to draw the diagram. Then you need to write the procedure. Okay, after that you need to copy my table result here. Okay, we're using 30 until 80. Yeah? So remember, when you just copy, follow the step. Okay, we start with the aim, uh, inference, aim, or follow the textbook. Then until the result. Okay, you copy from here. So the result example, we get the result 30, there's a 9.1 length. Eh? This one is a length. So until 80, I get 10.6 cm. 
okay so i find it when the temperature keep increasing the sulfuric acid they will go upper when they go to upper that means the length will be increased this one length is represent what length of the a okay length of the a trap okay now we're going to see the length of the coulomb a l increases linearly with the temperature okay why become linearly so you need to plot the graph okay we need to plot the graph we know increase increase directly proportional or linearly then we need to plot the graph okay so you need to take one graph paper to plot it okay so from here i get it like this okay i start from 0 20 until 100 then this one is 2 until 12 so i go to plot you can see they never touch the origin okay they suddenly they start from the 9.1 can you see this one is 20 no reading 30 they start okay so sinan got question but when the temperature increase the volume will be increased when the volume decreases increase the pressure won't decrease uh the pressure constant now the situation the pressure is constant okay because the volume increasing already the molecule go back to the original movement so that means the pressure constant okay so for Charles law, that means they're not related with the pressure. They can make the pressure go back to the original uh, level. Okay, because the volume can be expanded. Nah? The volume can be expanded. That means the molecule can go back to the original spaces to move freely. Okay, so remember temperature increase, kinetic energy increase. Volume can be expanded, then the pressure constant. And this one is a one of the things you need to understand. If I say volume cannot expand, the volume keep constant, sure, pressure high. Okay, pressure high. Okay, now the pressure is constant. Okay, because the volume expand, then you go back to the original uh, situations. So from here, when you just plot the graph, uh, remember, when you plot the graph, they're never touching the origin one. Okay, you just draw. Cannot say, okay, 30, I stop at the 30, no. You continue to draw the line until they touch to the y-axis. Okay? So this one is the first homework you need to do. You need to create the, write the report after that until you plot the graph. Okay, after plot the graph, we find it there's an increase linearly. So finally, you need to write conclusions. Okay? You still write the conclusion. Eh? So the conclusion is the volume of the A increase when the temperature of the A increase uh, increase uh, this one is a closer one uh. so temperature increase after that the volume also increase so you must mention the hypothesis is accepted okay so remember this one situation is not related with the pressure the pressure keep constant okay then we go through to the next part okay now they explain for you uh, Volume of the gas increase when the temperature of the gas rises. Okay, at zero degree Celsius. Okay, you know zero degree Celsius is it? The air trapped in the capillary tube that still has certain volume. So that means although it's zero degree Celsius, but the air trapped A inside the capillary tube just now, they still got volume. So this one is what's the meaning? Okay, the meaning is. This show at the zero degree Celsius, the gas molecule are still moving. Uh, you don't think, oh, zero degree Celsius become ice ready. So the molecule no moving. Uh, actually, they're still moving. Okay, and also fill up the space in the container. So that's why until zero degree Celsius, you still find it, they still got certain volume. So from here, we can prove zero degree celsius that means the gas molecule they still got moving but very very slow okay so like this we need to using the graph to prove it so just now you draw the graph until here you're touching the uh, y-axis then you stop is it so from here you can prove you make your graph far away to the right hand side so that means the vertical one you put to the right hand side a bit then you need to extrapolate it until the y-axis, you make it longer. Okay, extend until they touch to the x-axis. 
okay when it just touch to the x axis almost the reading is a negative 273 okay negative 273 actually what's the meaning okay, anybody can tell me negative 273 actually is what okay 273 uh, degree celsius okay actually that means for what okay so just now i told you zero degree celsius they still got volume you see zero they still got reading they're not volume zero the volume still got reading is it so from here i need to extrapolate it i want to see when the uh, temperature uh, become how many the volume will become zero yeah that one is absolute zero absolute zero means we're talking about kelvin zero kelvin so from here negative 273 actually is a zero kelvin okay zero kelvin so for this one situation i can guarantee to tell you no more volume okay no more volume volume of the a already is a zero and also kinetic energy totally zero okay totally zero uh, when zero covid okay when zero degree celsius still got movement okay so this one you need to understand uh. differentiate when zero covid and zero degree celsius what's the difference okay so this one important now we go through to explain this part at temperature of negative 273 degrees celsius gas molecule no longer move no longer move mean kinetic energy is a zero lah, and are unable to fill in the space okay very cool very very cool negative 273 okay and also unable to fill in the space that means they don't have any volume already so this one volume of the gas will become zero so that means you can find out uh, for the just now the sulfuric acid then drop until bottom no more space already so that means they don't have any a there okay so from here we can make the name different eh? so sometimes the question that no, never tell you directly i want the answer is degree celsius i want the answer in kelvin no the question never like that one when the question just say what is absolute zero so you need to understand absolute zero means negative 273 degree celsius or you can say there's a zero kelvin okay absolute zero so another one absolute temperature if i say i want the answer in absolute temperature so that means your unit must in kelvin okay don't give me degree celsius ah. if i say absolute temperature already you must give me the unit in kelvin okay when you see the absolute that means they already is kelvin okay absolute zero kelvin zero kelvin absolute temperature your temperature degree celsius convert to kelvin okay you can see the melting ice melting ice temperature is zero if i say absolute temperature there's a 273 okay steam steam is a hundred if i say absolute temperature so you need to add 273 so become 373 okay so remember the words are uh, absolute so from here they can say conversion of the unit degree celsius to the kelvin so you just take the degree celsius plus 273 so now your answer unit is in kelvin okay so for the gas law uh, gas law boy's law is no temperature so we don't care about the boy's law lah. so from the child's law we got temperature when we do any calculation we must using absolute temperature okay before that we learn about the uh, specific heat capacity latent heat uh, equilibrium uh, that one is okay we still can using degree celsius okay but the child's law we need to using absolute okay so from here silang give me the answer is below two is boiling point and freezing point right yeah okay we using the boiling point and freezing point but this one we don't have any point like we never mentioned about the freezing point freezing point is 
testing for water. But this one not testing for water. What? Okay, water is until zero already freeze. But from here, freeze also got movement. Not only freeze, they say the A molecule already never move. Still, yes. They still got movement. But that one is a water. Okay, but now we're talking about the A. Okay, A, uh, there is a trapping gas. We never mentioned about the liquid. Liquid is a freezing point and boiling point. But now we're just talking about the A. Okay, understand? Uh? The A until absolute zero. There's a don't have any volume. Okay, you're talking about the boiling and freezing. That one is a liquid. Okay, for the gas law, we're just using the gas as an example. Okay, gas, uh, gas, you go to heating, you go to heating, steaming, melting, or like this. We just take this a gas. Okay, so this one is a name only. The temperature, Kelvin, and also degree Celsius, melting ice and steam. Uh, this one is a name, absolute. But for the Charles law, we're using it's a gas. Uh, remember, we're never using any liquid. Okay, so from here, if the question just call you to convert, then you need to know how to convert. Lah. Okay, for the gas. Okay, this one is a comparison. Ah. You see the Charles law. Okay, Charles law. Then you want to find in Kelvin, you need to change lah, plus 273. Okay, this one is a graph. If the question is V versus temperature, so your graph is increase linearly agree because this one behind one we never see one you can close this part okay i go to zoom you can close the left hand side this part so that means there's an increase linearly so if the question asks you about calvin okay calvin now you can see the unit for the x-axis is a calvin if there's a calvin means there's a directly proportional Okay, directly proportional. You just take the vertical, you pull until 273, then you stop. So that means there's a directly proportional. So this one, we call it as an absolute zero. Okay, there's a negative 273 or you can say there's a 0K. Okay, when you just write the 0K, please far a bit. Then later become OK. Okay, far a bit. Like you write the zero already, then the K, you far a bit. So this one, we call it as a zero Kelvin. Okay, absolute zero actually was the meaning. The lowest temperature in the theory in which the pressure and the kinetic energy of the gas. Uh, can you see there's a gas? We're never talking about other state, only gas. Molecule are zero. So that means when absolute zero, there's a negative 273 kinetic energy and also the pressure and also the volume all become zero. Okay, so this one is a one of the thing you need to understand what means of absolute zero. There's a zero Kelvin. Okay, no movement. Eh? Then the volume of the A also becomes zero. Okay, if zero degree Celsius, they still got movement, a little bit movement. Then the volume still got volume. Uh, so that one is the differences. Zero degree Celsius and zero Kelvin. Okay, then we go through to this part. Charles Law. Remember the spelling. Charles Law apostrophe is after the S. Okay, after the S. You can see here. Eh? Okay, this one is a definition. For a fixed mass, the mass is a fixed. The volume of the gas. Gas, eh? is directly proportional to the absolute temperature okay we must mention absolute temperature then the pressure is constant okay the question asks again uh why the gas won't change the state okay guess how to change the state so for this one situation when it just until uh negative already so that means they never change the state uh reason is uh, from this one situation, uh, change the state. Lah. So we need to talking about, okay, they can change the state. 
They can change the state. Okay, that chain become the ice, but this one situation, the ice is already is a negative 273. They can change the state. So from here, you can say the situation is the gas, okay, when they just until the zero uh, Kelvin, they can change the state. So the gas now already is a, a solid. It's a solid. But the gas never at the situation is a liquid. Okay, because we steam. We just steam until that is a, a gas. There already is a gas. So that means that one is a situation uh, for the trap A. Okay, they're still inside the A. So that means when I just cool down, cool down, make the temperature become low until negative 273. So that means the gas inside the trap A, the trap A, they already become solid. So that when it just becomes solid, so that means the, the acid, they want sulfuric acid, they already cannot move down already. They cannot move down. So after that, we can say about the volume. The volume, we never count the whole ice is a volume. We just say about the gas molecule inside is kosong. We don't have any gas already. Okay? So from here, the gas inside is a trapped gas. Then the gas, if you just make it become cool down until negative 273, so that means actually they just press until bottom already. They're until bottom already. They never say they convert liquid, uh, then after they go to the solid. No, the whole thing is a gas. Okay, the whole thing is a gas. So when they just heat it, so they find it, they up. Then you never heat it, they go down, just like this only. So from here, the situation you ask me is, why the gas that cannot become solid? Okay, for the gas, when it just cool down, sure become solid one. Sure. Okay, because we cannot say a uh, gas, then you become liquid, then you become solid. Sure, they will come become solid. But this one situation, they just want to explain for you. When zero degree Celsius, we call what name? Okay, when they become a uh, zero Kelvin, what situation will happen? Just like this only. So then never think about it. Or oh, why the gas cannot become solid? Can Gas sure can become solid one. Okay, so you just remember when the gas becomes solid, okay, that means when it cool down. Lah. When it cool down, so what happened for that temperature? Like this only. Okay, like the movement. You don't think about why the gas cannot go to solid. Can, the gas can go solid. Okay, just you need to know when they become negative 273, what's the name? Okay, when they become zero Kelvin, uh, what's the name? Uh, like this only. Okay, don't think about uh, the others. Okay, we just want to know when the gas trap in, drop and up, uh, what is the situation? Okay, so from this one situation, you're using the temperature to heat. Sure, there's a gas lah. Okay, unless you put inside the freeze, is it? So that means for this one situation, we never put inside the freeze. We're just using the thermometer, we're still heating. <clears throat> okay, for the child's law, we still got heating. Okay, just now to show you the graph, actually, I want to prove until zero degrees Celsius, they still got movement. They still got volume, like this only. Okay, so this one is the uh, definitions. Okay, definition for the child's law. Remember, when you mention about the definition, you must say the mass is a fix. The mass is a fix. Okay, then the pressure also must be constant. Pressure must be constant. Then the volume of the gas must be directly proportional with the absolute temperature. Just we want to make a relationship for the volume of the gas and also absolute temperature. Okay? The phrase, we don't think about the phrase. We're just talking about gas, that's all. Okay? So from here, you see V directly proportional with the T. So this one T is the absolute temperature. Temperature increase. Kinetic energy increase. Collision between the particle also increase. <coughs> Finally, volume increase. Can you see when it just explained? <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah. Can you see when it just explained? They never mentioned collision between the particle and container. They just explained collision between the particle. So they will increase. Because collision and also the container never increase constant. Because the space enough. Okay, when it becomes constant means the pressure is constant. Okay, so from here we can prove about this one equation. Huh? Okay, let's see we how to prove it. Okay, this one is a... Uh, 
V versus uh, V directly proportional with the absolute temperature. So if I take out about the directly proportional, that will be equal to the K. K is what? K is a gradient. Okay, so now you can see about this one. K is a one constant number. Okay, one constant number. T stands for absolute temperature in Kelvin. Volume of the gas, there's a V. Okay, so from here, if I plot the graph, okay, for the first round, first case, when the object, when you just, the gas, lah, the gas, when you just heat it about T1, there's a V2. Okay, then you continue to heat. Same gas, lah. when you continue to heat, the temperature become T2, then they become another reading. Okay, so that means when I do the calculations, okay, remember, I think this one label wrong already. Yeah. It's V2, this one must be T2, this one is V1, this one must be T1. Okay, this one I think the ballet. Okay, when two, always all is a two. Uh, don't be mixed. So from here, we can create the equation for the condition one gas. Okay, condition one. This one situation, condition one. Uh. So we take this one as a V1. Okay, this one is a V1. So V1 over T1, you find gradient actually is a V over T. So V over T, we get gradient. So condition number two, so this one is a T2, this one must be V2. Lah. This one is a V2, lah. do some corrections. Lah. So when this one is a condition number two, I see a label wrong already. This one must be condition number two. Okay, condition number two. So you can see this one is a V2 over T2. So also it's a gradient. So any point in the line must be gradient is the same. Okay, when you plot the graph directly proportional, when you see the every point, you find the gradient actually should be the same. Lah. So from here, we can create the equations. V1 over T1 equal V2 over T2 because 2 also equal to the Kelvin. Okay, from here, how to go to memorize the formula for the child's law. Okay, before that, we learn about the Boyce law. Boyce law is a temperature constant, so you close the temperature. For the child's law, it's a pressure constant, so you close the pressure. When you close the pressure, then you can find V over T. So this one is a one thing to let you to easy to memorize. Lah. So V over T, there's a child's law. So which one constant, we just close it. Okay. So from here, the Charles law, the formula is a V1 over T1 equal V2 over T2. Relationship directly proportional if absolute temperature. If not absolute temperature, you only can say increase linearly. Okay, so this one is a Charles law. Okay, so I continue for this part. When the temperature of the gas increase, so the average kinetic energy of the molecule should increase. When you go to heat, temperature high is it? Then you find the kinetic energy sure high. And the molecule will move with higher velocity as pressure constant. Okay? The volume enough ready, then the pressure can keep constant. So to keep the constant of the gas pressure, the volume of the gas increase. So the rate of collision, uh, you must say the rate of collision. Okay, of the gas molecule with the wall of the container is unchanged. Okay, because they got enough space. Ma. When I got enough space, that means I no need every time go to hit the wall, is it? I more space to move. So that means you find it, the pressure will go back to the original uh, level. They become unchanged. So just like this one situation, when I just hit, okay, you see the container lower, is it? So the space very small. Okay, when the first round, sure, the pressure is high. So when I keep hitting, you can see the piston increasing. The piston increasing, now you see the space, the volume become increased already. When the volume increase, so your pressure go back to constant. So another one also same, the balloon, low pressure becomes smaller. Then the high pressure, the balloon will be expand. Okay, so this one is a Charles law. Okay, this one is a one short video you can refer. Okay, temperature and volume in Kelvin, that's a directly proportional. Okay, the molecule is uh, moving randomly. You can see they're moving randomly. Okay, so when the situation is heating, uh, you can see the balloon expand. 
okay because kinetic energy increasing then you can make the volume increasing mean the pressure constant okay so when cool down when the situation is cool down you can see the kinetic energy becomes slow slow back already and it just low back you can see the volume become smaller back okay so this one is a, a high temperature and low temperature what happened for the kinetic energy okay then we go through for this part they just want to create the formula for child's law okay one is a bigger volume another one is a smaller volume okay after that they go to write the situations so that means this one the first one they never hit lah. number two they go to hit so from here, V1 over T1 equal K, V2 over T2 also equal K. Okay, just like two situations. So finally, we can create the Charles Law formula like this. Okay, fixed mass of the gas heated at a constant pressure. So you can see the diagram in your textbook. So when first round, they go to uh, not yet to heat. Okay, because the molecule, there's still low velocity. When I just go to heat, temperature increases you can see the high velocity of the molecule to move okay but for this one you can see the piston that increase the space already okay when it just increase the space then the pressure pull down back so when the pressure go back to the original okay if the piston never move that means your pressure will be keep increasing and keep increasing okay now the piston they move that means the bigger area for them to move already now then the pressure will go back to the constant. Okay, so from here we left 15 minutes. Prepare your calculator, please. Okay, we need to fast and answer the question. Okay, in an A bubble, A bubble, huh? okay, volume is a 1.2 cm cube. Okay, temperature 27 degrees Celsius. Okay, what is the volume of the A bubble? Okay, if I go to heat, increase the temperature. Okay, make it become 47 degrees Celsius. Now you tell me what is the new volume. Okay, what's the new volume for this one, A bubble? So I want thing to remind you, important, eh? temperature must convert to absolute temperature. Okay, remember, uh, this one is very important. Many students, they miss up already. When they just never change, they mean all the answer wrong. Okay, so from here, anybody can answer me. I want to find uh, V2. Okay, I want to find V2, volume 2. Okay, anybody here? Okay, I just show the info a bit. Lah. V1 is 1.2. V2 do know, final volume of the A. Okay, T1, I go to convert, become absolute temperature. 27 plus 273 become 300 Kelvin. So T2 is 47 plus 273 become 320 Kelvin. So what we need to use, the formula is this one. Okay, we got some answer. Okay, from the student. Okay, 1.28 cm cube. So we go to check. Okay, we put in all the things. 1.2 over 300. Then V2, we do know over 320. So we need to find it's a V2. V2, when you find, we're just using the unit, the question provided. Eh? So from here, we do the calculation. So the final answer is 1.28 cm cube. Okay? We just copy the unit from the question. Okay? So from here, we continue to the next part. Okay, now a cylinder of the volume, 0.2 L. Okay, little, uh, they never mention about the CMQ, they just say L. Okay, contain a mixture of the A and also the battery at the atmospheric pressure at the temperature of 25 degrees Celsius. Okay, they give you temperature for the first one. There's a T1. Okay, the gas is expanded by pulling a piston until the volume becomes 0 0.25. So the volume you go to extend becomes 0 0.25 under the constant pressure. Can you see constant pressure? So this one sure is a Charles law. Then we find the new temperature of the mixtures in Celsius. Can you see the word they want in Celsius? 
So that means later you get the answer, you need to convert back, become degree Celsius. Okay, so from here, you need to find T2. Okay, important, we need to using absolute temperature to do the calculations. Okay, let's see the info. Okay, V1, 0 0.2. V2, 0 0.25. T1, T1 just now is 25, is it? So 25, I need to change, become absolute temperature. So become 298 Kelvin. Now T2, I don't know. So please find for me the T2 in degree Celsius. Okay, I want you convert back, become degree Celsius. Okay, we go to chat. Find the from the student can get the answer or not for this question. Okay, we got five questions. Eh? So from here, the student must be very fast to give me the answer. Okay, the others, you can prepare your calculator. Just show me the answer here. Okay, so I want to know, is it you understand or never understand about the question? Okay, anybody? Okay, 99.5 Celsius. Ah. Okay, 99.5 degrees Celsius. Okay, we go to check the answer. See now, is it correct or not? Okay, we go to show about same formula. Now I need to find is a T2, is it? So T2 is here. So 0 0.2, 0 0.25. So now I need to bring T2 alone. So I take 298 multiply 0 0.25 over 0 0.2. So T2, actually I get the answer is a 372.5, is it? This one is in Kelvin, but I don't want the answer in Kelvin. The question say they want in Celsius. So you need to minus, minus 273. So your answer is 99.5 degree Celsius. Okay, so you must read the question very carefully. They want Celsius or they want Kelvin. Okay, so normally, la, I just mentioned normally they want Celsius. They want you to change back, become degree Celsius. Okay, number three, I guess the volume is 35. Okay, at the temperature 40 degrees Celsius is heated at a mix, a fix, a fixed pressure. Ah. The pressure already is a fix. Calculate the volume of the gas when the temperature reach 70 degrees Celsius. So that means the in for T135, 40 you need to convert. T140 plus 273 become 313. Okay, after that change change another volume so the gas uh, temperature becomes 70 so 70 you need to add 273 become 343 Kelvin so now you need to find it's a V2 so the formula is the same you just want to find V2 all the thing you just put in then give me the answer then follow the unit from the question the volume is how many meter cube so we're using the meter cube lah. The final answer. Okay, so anybody here? So every time only the si liang. The rest where to go? Where my four size two? Four size two. Yeah, Sabrina is here. Sabrina said there's a thirty-eight point three six. Okay, we go to check. Okay, put in all the things we need to find V two. So the final answer, yeah, 38.35 meter cube. Okay, so this one is another example for the child's law. Okay, remember when you read the question, you must be careful. Because this one is a child's law. I explained child's law is it. So the question I give you sure is a child's law. Lah. Okay, until the end, I will mix. I will mix boy's law, child's law, another one is a pressure. I will mix together. Then you must read the question carefully. This one is what law? Okay. Some question will tell you which one constant. Then you understood. Okay. If they never give you the info about that physical quantity, mean that one should be constant. Lah. Okay. So this one is a hint. How to find out this one is what law? Okay. Then we continue to number four. A balloon is filled with 2,000 cm cubed. Okay, understood volume ah. of the gas, 27 degrees Celsius. The balloon is emerged in a container 
fill with the water and the water is then heated okay balloon put in the container with water then you heat the water so if the pressure in the balloon remain constant uh, so understood uh, they said pressure constant find the volume of the gas when the temperature become 57 okay so from here absolute temperature uh, remember so we write the info okay this one is a balloon okay v1 2000 t1 27 degrees celsius so we go to convert 2000 is a v1 v2 we do know t1 27 chain become absolute plus 273 become 300 t2 is 75 75 is it uh 57 or oh, the bali so i do wrong already okay you help me to change this one i think i do wrong already then overall also wrong like, like this Okay, you have me to change. Uh, this one become 57. You see at the ballet already. Okay, 57 plus 273. Okay, you have me to do this one. I want the answer. Okay, I copy wrong already. 57 plus 273. Okay, 330. Uh, okay, have me to change. Uh, everything have me to change. This one become 330. Okay, then this one also. Okay, Sabrina, give me answer already. Okay, I go to change first. Ah, huh? three three zero. Oh. Okay, this one correct zero. This one is three three zero. Oh. Okay, this one also is a three zero. This one is a three three zero. Oh. Okay, final answer. Final answer. Huh? We go to check first. 330 over 300. Okay, yeah, the answer is correct. 220. Okay, so this one should be the answer. Lah. Sorry yeah, for corrections. Okay, 330. Okay, yeah, the V2 is a... Uh, sorry, Sirang write the wrong answer, is it? Okay, here. Yeah. Okay, Sabrina, the answer is correct. 2,200 cm3. Okay, Sirang, cm3. Huh? Okay, so this one should be the answer. Uh, so you see, when you do calculation, must very be careful. Huh? Okay, then we go to the number 5. A of the volume, 0 0.24. Okay, in an expand expandable cylinder is heated from 27 becomes 77 okay at constant pressure uh, can you see constant pressure so what is the volume of the a when 77 degrees celsius so we still write this one is a a the volume 0 0.24 then t1 is 27 so we continue to show about the info 0 0.27 then the volume 2 we do know then 77 plus 273, 350. Uh. So make sure I correct uh, because sometimes we typing so fast, you cannot see. 27 plus 273, 300. Okay, so from here, I need to show about this formula again uh, for the child's law. So now I want to find V2. So you make the V2 alone. So from here, V2, V2, anybody give answer for V2? Okay, my class student where to go already? For size two. Ah, okay. Go EJ, give me zero point two eight meter cube. Okay, we go to check zero point two eight. Okay, yeah, zero point two eight meter cube. Okay, I think there's a no problem like, about the child's law because the question quite directly is it. Okay, then we go to this one for the explanations. Huh? Diagram that show about the trap gas being heated in an enclosed space. Okay, like this. Lah. Okay, enclosed space. They go to heat. So from here, they say by using the kinetic theory of the molecule. Explain. The volume increase when the temperature of the A increase. So you need to talking about the kinetic uh, theory for the molecule. So that means sure temperature, high kinetic energy for the molecule also increasing, is it? So we just explain temperature increase, kinetic energy will increase. 
Okay, so this one must be the first point. Okay, number two, collision between the molecule increase. Okay, molecule and molecule collide each other. Eh? Not about container, eh? only molecule and molecule collide. So this one, thus the volume will be increases. So when they heat together, after that they can make the, the situation for the volume they will expand. Okay, they go to expand, so the volume will go back to the origin. Uh, the volume is bigger, the temperature, the pressure, pressure will go back to the original constant. Okay, so remember, we never mention about container. If you mention container, you must say unchanged. Okay, the molecule hit the container, area of the container is remain unchanged. Okay, but the collision to the each other must be increasing because the heat already increased. Okay, so from here, they can make the volume for the space become higher. Okay, so this one should be the uh, Charles law, one of the gas law. So what you need to do today, uh, I think you can see about the Google form I sent already in Telegram. Yes, Silian go or not? Google form in Telegram. I share already, is it? Can see or not? Anybody can respond me? Can see about the Google form? Okay. Then Google Classroom, I will also give the homework. Eh? This one is a homework you need to do for the uh, Google Classroom. That's one of the PBD for the child's law. Must pass up. Okay, I give you the due date is until Friday. Friday, 5 p.m. Okay, must turn in. Uh. You never turn in, that means I cannot give you the uh, the PBD marks. Okay, you do it. After that, you snap photo, then you turn in. Okay, remember to turn in. This are in the Google Classroom. So another one should be your Google Form. Google Form got five questions about the child's law. Okay, when you enter the Google form, they sure got the code. Okay, today code. Okay, please type there. Today code. Huh? Temperature, capital letter, temperature. Okay, temperature. Not yet finished. Huh? Temperature, I type first. Okay, you also have to type temperature. After that, you help me hashtag. Put hashtag. Okay. After hashtag, you have to put zero one. Okay. Okay. So this one is what I show. Okay. Can you see there? Okay. For today, code temperature, capital letter. Then after that, you put hashtag, then zero one. Okay. So this one is a today code. Don't copy paste. Type by yourself. No spacing. Okay. Temperature hashtag zero one. Okay, so my lesson only until here. So thank you for your response. Thank you for your attendance. So everyone, okay, bye. Eh? Thank you for the student to answer me just now. Thank you, Sabrina. Okay, bye. See you for the next lesson. Eh? Okay, bye everyone.